Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is a very special and exciting video for me because I came across the most incredible perfume brand ever. So I saw it in Fragrantica and I was so excited that I went on their official site and the brand is called Zoologist. So Zoologist is a niche Canadian perfume brand. And I read about the concept of this brand and I thought it is so unusual and unique. I have never heard about something like this in the perfume industry before. So the concept is to recreate the world of animals without hurting them. And I thought it is just so, so cool because I'm obsessed with perfumes and I love animals so, so much. So this brand like combined my two obsessions together. So I want to thank lovely Victor Wong for letting me do this. This is the founder of the company. And um, yeah, in this video, I want to share with you my opinion about the perfumes. So if you're interested in it, then keep on watching. All right, there are seven perfumes, each dedicated to a specific animal, and I have here seven samples, so I will tell you just, you know, my thoughts about each perfume. So I thought I will do a ranking from number seven to number one, and uh, I'd like to start with this one that is called Bet. So Bet is a very beautiful perfume and it is so unusual. Firstly, I'd like to say a few words about the packaging. It is a sleek black packaging with a golden frame and the portrait of the animal in the middle. Then when you open it, you have your sample of the perfume and here you have the most creative description ever. And the thing that I like a lot is that you have actually the notes that are in the perfume also here inside of the packaging. So let's talk about Bet. Bet is a very, very unusual perfume. Of course, I'll tell, you know, like you, these words that all these perfumes are unusual and very unique, but this one is like... I will uh, read you the notes. So the top notes are banana, soft fruits and damp earth. And damp earth I can smell so, so strongly on my cold skin and also, you know, like in the combination with fruits. So you can smell this really earthy, perf you know, like really earthy scent in the combination with bananas and other fruits. And on my cold skin, it is very, very strong. I like, uh, when it's, I, I like it when it settles down so other notes come through, such as Tropical fruits, mineral notes, myrrh, resins, vegetal roots, furry masks, leather, vetiver, sandalwood and tonka. So all of these perfumes are unisex, so both men and women can wear them. But in my opinion, some of them are more suitable for men and some of them more suitable for women. And some of them are really 100% unisex perfumes. So I think, like in my personal opinion, this perfume would be um, nicer on the men's skin, but of course you can try it if you're a woman and I think you will love it. It's a very unusual fragrance and I like it a lot. And let's talk about the next perfume that is called Civet. This picture of Civet is so cute, I like it so much. And in here you have, you know, like the same um, thing. So with Civet I have kind of a love-hate relationship. It is a very complicated scent for me because firstly when I apply it on myself I really like it because it is spicy and it is so so nice you know the opening is very beautiful top notes are bergamot black pepper lemon orange spices and tarragon and then when other notes you know like come through it's just something, I don't know, do I like it or not, but when it comes to the base, I really like it because the base is very animalic and very sophisticated. So the base notes are balsam, civet, coffee, incense, labdanum, masks, okmos, resins, Russian leather, vanilla, vetiver and woods. And this is definitely an animalic perfume. It has a few, and you know, like that animal notes in it and I really like it. It is a very intense perfume and if you're looking for a good quality, really special um, 
any malic perfume then go for civet because it is just a dream it's really very nice all right the number five goes to this perfume that is called hummingbird this picture is so cute so hummingbird is a bird of course and um, i will describe this perfume like I can see, so I can imagine a woman who is like 100% confident in herself and she really knows what she wants wearing this perfume because this perfume tells the world what you want. It is very intense, it is very strong, it is musky, floral, a little bit sweet, maybe even a little bit, you know, like... Um, the amber note is very strong in here on my skin. I like this perfume very much and actually when I um, wear it, I think that it would be such a beautiful signature scent. You know, if you are looking for a signature scent, then try this perfume because it is just, you know, if you want the world to remember how you smell, this is a perfect perf perfume for that because I don't know, it's just a signature scent, it's so beautiful, it's just, it's it's remarkable. Yeah, this perfume is remarkable, I really like it a lot. The notes in here are just beautiful, apple, cherry, citrus, lilac, maggot, pear, plum, rose, violet leaf, honey, honeysuckle, lilac, mimosa, peony, tulip, ylang, amber cream, mousse, musk, sandalwood and white woods. So it's a beautiful, beautiful perfume, would be perfect for a woman. Uh, on a man's skin, I think it would be um, more woody than, um, you know, like sweet or floral. But yeah, I like hummingbird a lot. And number four goes to such an unusual fragrance. I know all of them are unusual, but this, this is just a cool, cool fragrance. It is called Rhinosaurs. And I have a really cool description for this perfume. So... Imagine that you are in the desert and there is an old pharmacy. You come into this pharmacy and you can smell herbs from all over the world that were there, you know, for a long time. This is how this perfume smells, you know, like for me. It is very dry, it is, you know, like herbal and it is very intense. It is such a cool perfume. You know, I have never smelled anything like this perfume before and rhinosaurs and bat are the most unusual fragrances in this collection because they are just so you know like i have never smelled not only perfume but like anything like this and it, it really plays with your imagination so i really like this perfume the notes in here are just like the person who created this perfume was a genius because you know to combine all these notes so perfectly together it's just you need to be a genius so the notes are rum bergamot lavender alum sage i like sage so much um tobacco cedar geranium pine wood urban wood immortal sandalwood amber smoke vetiver musks and leather it's a leathery perfume definitely you can smell this leathery note in here kind of strongly but i don't mind it i really like leather leathery perfumes so rhinosaurs is my you know like personal favorite all right we are moving on to the number four and the number four goes to this cool cute perfume that is called nightingale so nightingale is a very soft gentle feminine perfume I like it very much. It doesn't scream about itself. It is very intense, but it but it's you know like it's very nice. It would be perfect for every day. Your age doesn't matter, you know. Every woman, you know, like it doesn't matter how old are you, it would be perfect for everybody. And the note of bergamot lemon, saf saffron, Japanese plum, blossom, red red rose, violet, um, Ambergines, oat, frankincense, labdanum, mousse, patchouli, sandalwood, and white musk. It's a musky perfume. It's very like delicate. It is, you know, actually, all the notes in here they're just like they um, they go to they go together very um, nicely. So it's not too much. It's just a beautiful, beautiful perfume. And if I should, you know, like. Um, compare these two together, so the nightingale and the hummingbird. 
I guess they are similar in the... Mm, they are completely different but they are really um but they are very uh, long lasting on the skin but in my opinion hummingbird is a little bit more intense than um nightingale is i like them both they are very beautiful and yeah let's move on to the top three of my you know like zoologist perfumes and number three goes to this one that is called beaver how cute this picture is all right Beaver is a very fresh, a very clean perfume. Actually, I imagine the forest after the rain with a few animals running here and there. You can actually smell, you know, like fresh leaves, a few plants, flowers. It's just, you know, a little bit of uh, woods. It's a beautiful perfume. The notes are fresh outdoor air, linden blossom, wood shavings, wild vegetation, damp air, dry wood, light musk, water, um, heavy musk, dark woods, vanilla, umber, castorium, and leather. So it has a little bit, you know, that animal notes in this uh, in this perfume, but I think that um, they just combine, you know, like all the notes together and it's just a beautiful, fresh, clean, but also a little bit of woody perfume. I like it a lot. It's my number three. It's just, I really want, you know, like a full-sized bottle of it because it is not too much. It is such a beautiful perfume and it transforms on the skin a lot. So, you know, from that freshness to a little bit of woodiness and I like it so, so much. All right, the number two goes to this cute cute perfume that is called panda so guys i know i told you that i don't like you know like don't like green fresh perfumes and simply because that every fresh green perfume that i smelled was like it was just a green freshness and nothing behind it so it was like nothing for me because i like really to, uh, the perfume to trans uh, to transform on my skin and um, yeah the thing like that but panda actually changed my mind now this is the only fresh green perfume that I like and that is a lot to say. I really want the full-sized bottle of this perfume. It would be perfect for summer and spring. The notes in here are so beautiful so it opens with a lot of green fresh notes but what I like about this perfume is that it is not only about that green freshness. There are a lot of you know like other notes in here, especially in the base, that makes it not only green and fresh, but also a little bit woody, and it's very nice. So the notes are citron, bamboo, green tea, mandarin, osmanthus, orange blossom, lilas, mimosa, incense, sandalwood, cedar, fresh musk, and vetiver. Panda is like, if you like fresh perfumes, then you will love this. If you don't like fresh perfumes, then try this one out, because you know, I told you that I'm not a fan of them and Panda is, you know, like number two in this collection. So it's a lot to say. All right, the number one goes to this beautiful perfume that is called Macaque. The picture is just awesome. And there is a story why I like this perfume so much and why it is the number one. Okay, when I was younger, I had a beautiful perfume and then it got, uh, you know, like the... Um, it, it wasn't on the market uh, and then I was looking uh, for some like that for such a long time. I found something, it was also limited edition and the minute when I applied this perfume on my skin, it was the minute of happiness because this perfume is just even better than I was looking for. It's a citrusy, very fresh and energizing perfume. It gives you such a good, you know, you, your mood like it you feel yourself, you know, like so, so good when you apply this perfume. It's just a perfume of a good mood for me. And the apples in here are just so nice. Apple, red mandarin, cedar, galbanum, frankincense, jasmine tea, ylang ylang, rosewood, cedar mousse, green tea, white oat and musk. So my cat is like number one for me. It's just, you know, like I like it so much. My cat is beautiful. All right, guys, um, what what can I tell you, you know, like, in the end, I 
I'm so impressed by all of these perfumes. It was such a cool experience to try something like this because, you know, there is not actually nothing like this on the market. So if you want to try something really special, check this brand out. If you can smell, you know, if you have this perfume in the region where you live, then you need to try it because it's just amazing and it's just so, so beautiful. All, all of the perfumes are unisex, so yeah. They are just, you know, like good quality, really good scents and really beautifully done. So guys, that is basically it for this video. I hope that you enjoyed watching it and if you did, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more videos of me and we'll see each other in my next video. Bye!